everybody and welcome back to another video today's video we're going to be doing um some cabochon um pendants should i say um this is the cabochon mold that i'm using um also um very familiar on daniel cooper's channel we call it the daniel cooper mold sorry i've got some i've just moved the black pigment paste and i've got it on my gloves uh, known as Daniel Keeper Mold because he, he just basically uses this all the time. Right, so what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be doing the Petri effect. Uh, I've never done it before, so um, I am new to it. So I'm going to be doing a variety of shapes. We're going to be doing the ovals, the circles, the hearts, the squares. And I'm going to be using uh, Fast Cure Resin, which is the um, Apex One Cult from Just For Online UK. It can be demolded within two hours. Um, as long as the room temperature is is is, is right, it will, it will cure um, within two hours. Demoldable in two hours, fully cured in eight to ten. So um, I'm using Let's Resin's um, Alcohol Ink. So these come in a pack of 36. You get a variety of different colours and you also get two Sinker Whites. Now for the Petri effect, you do need a Sinker White. And the Sinker White is basically ink with pigment. And what that does is it pulls the colour down to give it like a really like a feathering effect into the resin. So in some of the in some of the part, the parts of the mold I'm going to be using I have no idea what that says. Sugar light and purple and sapphire blue. And then in some of the other, some of the other ones I'm going to be using lemon yellow, red and orange. Um you want to try and use colours that will go together because otherwise you're going to get um, mud, muddying of the colours and, and, you know, it's not nice. So um, this resin is full of micro bubbles, but that's fine. Um, I can I can get them out once it's in the mould. So I'm just going to pour. I'm going to pour it three quarters of the way up. You just want to make sure that you leave enough space so that you can put a back coat on um, and also enough room for your uh, inks as well. So we'll do the circular ones. I just hope this degasses. I'm running uh, low for time today. I've been sorting out some stuff. Um, I actually managed to get my passport sorted, so I've got my new passport on its way, um, which is fantastic news. So I can get my monetization sorted for the channel. And it's now lunchtime, and I have only a, th a couple of hours left before the boys come home from school. So hence, um, fast cure using the fast cure resin so you can use any form of epoxy that you want to use i'm not sure if i've seen daniel do it with um alcohol ink i don't think i have i don't think he has actually but um i'll i'll, I'll ask him and find out because i know some people don't use epoxy they use uv resin so all right so I'm going to give it five minutes, put it on pause, give it five minutes and just let this decass a little bit. And I'm going to use my long neck lighter and just pop the bubbles in the mould. Um, just so that it doesn't affect the, the alcohol ink. And I will be back in five minutes. Right, so I'm back now. So what I've done is, is I've swapped out the colour that I couldn't <laughs> say for a peachy red. It was too red that colour, I just did a test a tester when I opened it because it's not a bottle that I have used. If you are new to resin and alcohol inks, um, a little trick for you, don't snip the nozzle off. If you get a pin or a needle and push it down into the nozzle, make sure you've got a tissue around your needle. It's just because it lets blood and just push your needle through the nozzle and that will help with um, your colours. Otherwise, if you cut the nozzle off, your colours are going to be spraying everywhere and you don't want that. So I'm going to do the left hand side in these colours and the right hand side in these colours and then there's my sink white. So we're going to do 
red. Just one drop. And then we're going to go over and what you do, that will do that last. These are two um, close in colour. That's okay. I don't want any negative space. So negative space is where there's no colour put. Just and then we've just got these ones here. So I'll do this top one. And get your single wipe and then just put that over the top. Let me bring it up and you can see it dancing. Like you can see everything in the shot there. You can do more than um, one set of colours in the tree, you can do more, but I'm just going for the, um, the one row of colours. <laughs> these inks I think um, I need to get some new ones because I have the, I've had these a while And then we're going to do the magic. You need to make sure you keep um, shaking your sinker white. Just because of pigment settles into the bottom of the bottle. I've got the shape. <laughs> I think I need to look a bit more um
Um, I'm going to actually put this white sinker, tinker uh, white, into a needle, a needle, a needle, to, needle top bottle, and be a, a much better. So um, what you do after that, if I'm correct, is you leave it for about 45 minutes. But because this is fast cure ribbon, obviously I can't leave it that long because it'll be too too thick. So I'm going to leave it for about 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, and then it should have thickened up by then. I've got some, I'm just filling in the negative space, which I don't want. Um, and the reason why you want to leave it is is to allow it to thicken up is because we're going to make some patterns in the resin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on pause and I will be back when this is ready. And we're going to take, our, take a needle or a pin or a very thin stick, if you want to call it, and we're going to guide that through. The resin and make some swirls so i will be back with you later Bye. all right so i'm back and um this is where i need it to be so where you need it to be is thick even though this was thick consistency anyway it needs to be stringy so when you stick you stick in it's, it pulls it pulls off like that so it's got a bit of a string on it if that makes sense So um, I apologise, um, my gloves got covered in resin and I had to take them off and I have no gloves until I get some delivery later on this afternoon. So um, I'm going to make sure that I don't touch the resin. So we're just going to put, you can use a cocktail stick or you can use a pin and we're just going to go in and do a circle, like a, a spiral, if that makes sense. So I'm going to start here. But you don't want to take your stick right down to the bottom of the mug because you'll scratch it. Sorry if my hand's in the way. So stringy, that's stringy. So we're just gonna mix up, get that up. I'm just gonna do the same in each one. Very stringy. I have no idea if this is going to work as I told you it's my first time so I'm doing this with a lot of nerve I don't think I've ever been so intimidated by a technique than this one <laughs> and I don't know why and that's it so we're just going to let that cure so I shall see you back later when these are ready to, to be demolded. Goodbye. Hi everybody, I'm back and these are now cured enough to demold. I decided not to coat them in, in uh, with the back coat and just because um, I've not got enough time today. Um, it's almost 6pm here now and these are, are cured um, and I just wouldn't have had enough time to get them um, mixed up the resin, put the resin on and then get it dried and do all my editing and everything else. So. We're going to take them out, they are soft still but they're demoldable and we're going to take a look at them one by one. So here is the red wood. and here is the blue wood. Oh it's worked, I did it! Eep, 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 eep. <laughs> Well, let's just see what the rest look like first before I say I've, I've done it. 
I just hope some of them are really nice. And what I'll do is, is I'll make a pendant out of the nicest ones and I'll um, put them on the community tab so we can see. Right, so let's have a look at the red one and that one. Got a couple of bubbles which I'm not bothered about as I'm not, I wasn't here for anything perfect. But yeah, it seems to have worked. What do you think? Oh, that's really pretty, but it's got a ton of bubbles in that one, can you see? You know, I think my favourite ones are these ones. Yeah, especially this one. That would have been my favourite, but it's got um, too many bubbles. But hey, first time doing the Petri and, and I would say it's a success. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that with you for today as I need to go and make dinner for me and partner. So please like, comment and subscribe if you've not already done so. That would help my channel out so much. And I shall see you on tomorrow's upload. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.